All right, folks, we're getting into an exciting part. This is phase four. Phase four is what every one of you and your friends uh, would consider the Eskimo roll. That's where you set up like this and tip over and roll up. Now, why does anybody, why would anybody set up like this? To be honest with you, I have no clue because that's not how I roll. <laughs> it's a true story. But there is a good reason for it. The reason for it is because this is an easy position to get to when you're underwater and memorize. It's important to remember when you're underwater, you're not the smartest person in the, wor in, the, in the world. In fact, it's really hard to do advanced math or anything else when you're underwater. So what we need to do is we need to have a step-by-step -step process that we can go through when we're underwater that doesn't require a lot of brain power and then you can just memorize and do. So phase four, this roll is gonna be paddle parallel to the boat. Notice you hold the paddle like you always do, right hand control next to the boat. You're gonna take your right arm straight up vertically and you're gonna follow it with your head and body like this. Head and body follows the, the paddle. Let's practice this. Casey, Cheryl, let's see it. Don't tip over, just do it like I'm doing it. Okay, straight up, straight up. There it is, straight up, good. Straight up, nice, okay. Now, once you get up to, once you start getting in here, this is the position you were rolling in in phase two and three. All you gotta do from, is get from here to here, hip snap. Here to here, hip snap. So let's give it a shot. Casey, you go first, flop over, flop over, with your paddle to the side, boom. He's... Okay. Okay, Casey, since we're making an instructional video and I know you can roll up really easy, I want you to roll up on your head on the back deck every time to show them what the easiest possible way is. One more time and then we'll have Cheryl do it. All the way over, head on the back deck, nice, Cheryl. She's over. Beautiful. Nice. Good job. Good job. <laughs> awesome. What's wrong, Casey? <laughs> Casey's got a, a pain in his head. We don't know what it is. All right. So that's phase four. Congratulations. You can go from here to here. Now, what are common mistakes? Common mistakes are one, your wrist is cocked back so the paddle dives. Common mistake number two is you don't get your paddle to the surface. You're somewhere in here. You gotta really reach for the surface. If you feel both hands out of the water, that's a good starting point. Cheryl, demonstrate. Tip over, wiggle your fingers out of the water. Oh, yeah, get your paddle out of the water and wiggle your fingers. There you go, see that, isn't that cool? Beautiful, nice, good job. Good demonstration, she's such a good uh, demonstrator. 64 years old, learned to paddle just like uh, just recently, and uh, you're gonna have a bomb proof roll in no time. <laughs> All right, so that's phase four. Now you have one more step uh, on phase four I'd like you to do. Instead of, and both of these guys are doing it already, the easiest way to do phase four is to tip away from your paddle. They're tipping towards the paddle, which is actually more advanced because the water tries to move your paddle out of position. Show both ways, tip halfway, boom. Head down and back. Now tip all the way around. Nice. All right, cool. So those are the two ways you can tip over in phase four. And why are they different? Now when you're upside down, it's identical. It doesn't matter which way you tip, you're upside down. But what does matter when you tip this way, the, the water's trying to push your paddle out of position. When you tip this way, the tr water tries to lift your paddle into position. So all the way around is a little more difficult. So I recommend the first time you do it, you tip away from your paddle. And then after you get good at that, then you can tip towards your paddle. That's phase four. Now remember, whether you get up or not, 99% of it is a hip snap. How do I know that? What if your paddle dives? Your paddle can dive and you can still make it up. In fact, you can lose your paddle and still make it up. It's called a hand roll. So the hip snap is the key to the roll. All right, phase five is next. Let's do that. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006.